Hello. It's very easy in our largely secular and multicultural uh, society to overlook the importance of the Bible to our poetic history and traditions. Uh, of course, the Bible, along with the works of Shakespeare, is one of the two books that you automatically get if you get sent to the Desert Island uh, on Radio 4's Desert Island discs. And every so often, people will show their um, their uh, agnostic credentials by saying they don't want the Bible. And that seems to me a shame, because all, as well as being full of uh, inexplicable um, Stone Age and Bronze Age horror, uh, it's also full of some of the most uh, uplifting and important writing uh, that's ever been set down. Uh, and of course, the sounds, the cadences, many of the expressions and phrases in the King James Bible in particular are, are with us in daily conversation, even if we're not aware of it. The other thing that I love about this following uh, poem, if we can call it a poem, uh, is that behind it is the kind of faith, the kind of certainty, the kind of um, peace that comes from faith that I certainly don't have and can only look at with a certain envy. I hear it in the music of Bach, for instance. But something of that peace comes forth when you recite it. It is Psalm 23 in the King James Version. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for ever.